In this video, I'm gonna be changing the chipper blades on the Harbor Freight Portland Chipper Shredder. I did a review on this a year or so ago. I think it was in December of 2022. It's been a great uh, chipper. I've, uh, I've used it for everything <laughs> and been doing a lot of uh, pruning. So I got a lot of uh, wood to run through here. So I'm gonna start with some uh, fresh blades in here. And this chipper shredder actually comes with a second set of blades. I plan on uh, sharpening the ones that are in there, but to get uh, going right away, I just wanna swap out uh, the old blades with new ones and uh, begin uh, chipping. So this shouldn't be too hard. You just have to unlock it here and then, this pops out. So this is the safety cover. You can use a good cleaning. And what we've got inside is the business part of it. So the blades are back here and you gotta take off this sheath. It's held in by a bunch of, it looks like four, looks like maybe eight Phillips head screws and then the blades themselves are held in with a uh, six millimeter uh, Allen key. So I'm gonna remove this cover. And yes, it does need a good cleaning, but that means I've been using it a lot. And so I'm gonna remove the cover and then we'll get to the blades. Okay, I've removed the eight Phillips head screws. Oh, that comes out simple enough. This looks like aluminum. Nice and lightweight, but sturdy. And these are the blades. And these are the replacement blades that they give uh, with it. So I think that's pretty neat that they actually give you replacement blades. So as I said, it's a six millimeter uh, hex head. Uh, or Allen key. So I got this neat little uh, kit of hex head drill bits off of uh, Amazon. And because sometimes you need the power of, a, uh, of an impact driver uh, to get some things out and the key just doesn't give you enough leverage. So I'll put a link to the kit in the uh, description if you're interested and let's see if it actually works here because maybe a key will work best but we'll see yeah <laughs> all right let's see whoa <laughs> yowza yeah maybe a key is going to work better i'm not sure if there's a way to lock this blade there is yeah, I don't think that's it but let's see and that one's too big oh, no it's not okay but all right First off, let's go this way. Ah. Right. This might take me using my girly muscles to get this out. Then I'll be right back. So you can certainly, and probably better off, doing this before you remove all the screws, but that's okay. Uh, you can just take a screwdriver here and you hold it into place, and then you take your uh, six millimeter uh, Allen key, and you stick it in here, and let me just move my hand out of the way, and then you turn, okay. Now, you can un unscrew that, take that out of the way. And then unscrew this. Hmm. 
So it's got a washer and a lock washer on there. Can't even see if I'm showing you here. Here we go. It's got a washer and a lock washer on there. So I just put that to the side. And now this should just come right off. Now the neat thing about these blades is they're also double-sided. So you can actually just take this, flip it over, which is what I'll do instead of putting the new ones on, we'll save them and use the opposite side uh, for the uh, cutting in the future. Okay, now let's see if we can, might need to clean out these uh, holes. Yeah, there we go. Take these out. Just like this. So you would take it from here and then just go end over end and put it into this side. So you're getting a fresh blade on this side. And then we'll do the same here. Take these out. But we're going to uh, clean this up a little bit and then we'll put everything back together. I'm not gonna move this because so I don't wanna forget which end was which. The blade, I mean, looks a little gummy. So maybe it just needs to be clean. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it looks a little gummy, so maybe it just needs to be cleaned up. But you can put in a new edge on that when this one after I get done uh, using it and uh, we put the new blades on, we can end up uh, grinding these and sharpening them again. Okay. So what I'm gonna be using is some super clean, dissolves grease, super easy, super fast. I used uh, this uh, to clean my house, I clean my car. Uh, I actually did a video on uh, reviewing this stuff. This stuff is great. So that's what I'm going to uh, use on here and let's see how it works. There we go. And now I'm gonna use the wire brush. Oh yeah, look at that, it just cuts right through this stuff. A lot of times, if you have like a table saw, a um, circular saw, or even a, uh, a miter saw, and you're starting to burn wood and when you're cutting, and it's not going, it's not cutting as good as you'd like, just clean the blade off, you know, the resin off the blade. And a lot of times, <laughs> that's really all your uh, blade needs. And more than likely, that's all this really needs is to be cleaned up. But we'll flip them around and we'll see how it goes. I mean, they're still cutting, but I've noticed there's more <laughs> doing the shredding than the chipping. So you don't need to watch me do this as I try to get this all clean. So I'll be back in a minute. So this cleans up real nice. I mean, I wouldn't say brand new, but all that resin and tar is gone. So off of the blade too. Maybe not again, like new, but certainly cleaned up. And like I said, the old side, which I may now even have trouble figuring out which is the old side, looks pretty darn good. Okay, as so I was putting this thing back together again, I cleaned up the other blade and I started to uh, put it back together again. And then I realized <laughs> I, I told you the wrong thing. This blade was the one that was on this side. And you can see it, it, it's all gunked up. It was all gunked up on this side. It's all discolored here. So this was in here like this. And this is the cutting blade here. So if you did what I said and did the end over end, you would be putting the same cutting blade in. So don't do that. So you're just gonna take this 
and you're gonna move it over to here. Now this is the one that was sheltered back here and now it's the one that's exposed and will be the one that's cutting. So this uh, part you can see is discolored here. So this one had been on that side um, over here. So I just picked it up and put it over there. So ignore what I said before about the end over end and flipping it. Just take it and uh, move it from one side to the other. I don't know why I was having such difficulty with that before. So I sprayed the uh, super clean on uh, the nuts or these bolts, I should say, and uh, clean them up really well too. And I'm like freaking retarded here. These freaking Vienna sausages I've got for fingers really get in the way sometimes. There we go. So now we are gonna wanna crank these down these uh, bolts down a little bit. And use the short arm in there so you can really get some leverage and twist them. And now you'll be able to put it right back on there. So you just put the plate back on top, put that big mounting plate, and then put the And now I'm gonna clean up the housing as well and uh, put that back on and we'll clean everything up. Okay, with the housing cleaned up, cleaned up good enough, time to uh, put all these screws back in. Okay, so with the housing back in, the blades changed. Wipe this up a little bit. Now it's just a matter of putting the housing back on. Make sure all the parts go into place and then just screw it down. And there you go. Blades are changed. Didn't even have to use the new blades. I discovered as soon as I looked at the, uh, the new ones that they were double-sided. So I knew I could just flip it around and uh, get it used. So that's actually you know, a great thing. I mean, they could have just left you with those original blades and told you to flip them around uh, when the old ones got dull. But you're actually getting four different sets of blades then. You know, you got the the two that came originally now we flipped it around so that's two more and we've got two uses on each of these blades so that's i think a really good deal and this has really worked well on the uh chopping up all the uh branches and stuff that i got here but now that i've changed the blades i guess i got to uh test it out make sure it works Well, I could tell right away <laughs> that is so much better. It was just feeding the uh, wood right through like it used to when I first uh, did it. So that cleanup is essential. And like I said, I probably didn't even have to uh, flip the blades around because it was probably just all the resin built up on that those blades that was uh, making them dull. And if I had just cleaned them off, it probably would have been just as good. But I know for the next time, I might just need to clean them off next time and uh, try it again. So you might be able to get a, a lot of uh, use out of uh, 
each of these blades without grinding them down and without putting the new uh, the new set on. So like I said, I didn't even realize I needed to I, that I could have just used the same blades. So that's great. Like I said, you get four uses out of them and it's relatively easy to do. Uh, I guess just because of all the uh, use it's been put through that it may, just made getting those uh, Allen uh, lugs out a little tough. So all I did was just put it in a vise and uh, used uh, the hex head uh, uh, driver bits and uh, that got it right out. Okay, thanks for watching. While I was editing this video, Super Clean contacted me and asked me if I wanted to do a giveaway uh, for their products. I thought it was a perfect opportunity considering I just used their product to, to clean off the chipper parts. So what they're offering is one bottle of the original Super Clean. That's what I use today. They're also offering an aerosol can of their Super Clean product. That's what I use when I do the uh, clean my truck engine. As I've said, I think they're great products and I'll link to the video up here where I reviewed the Super Clean product and you can see what a great job it does. So for the giveaway, there are no restrictions other than you have to be in the lower 48 of the United States. But otherwise, any viewer of the video can uh, enter to win. Just uh, comment uh, down below and say somewhere in your comment, super clean giveaway. And then I recommend you like and subscribe to the channel too, because we have a lot of great videos like this that show you how to do these kind of projects around your own homestead. And we do product reviews where we actually find some decent products to use all around the home. So again, super clean is giving away a bottle of their original uh, formula as well as a can, an aerosol can of their uh, super clean spray. Just uh, comment down below. And then I guess about two weeks after uh, this video airs, I'll randomly draw a name for a winner and I'll notify you. And then you just give me your details and we'll have super clean send that product your way. So thanks super clean for unofficially sponsoring this video and uh, offering my viewers a chance to uh, win your product. Okay, thanks for watching.